30,000 spectators pack the stadium at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs for ceremonies that will graduate cadets into officer ranks. They hear President Kennedy call for a partnership of government and business to develop a supersonic passenger plane to hold the U.S. lead in commercial aviation, a billion-dollar project that is of secondary interest to the cadets today. That all-important sheepskin represents four years of hard study. 493 are graduating into what the president calls the most demanding career of any officer corps in the history of any country. They'll follow their hats into the wild blue yonder. Across the country in Maryland, the Naval Academy graduates 871 young men as Vice President Lyndon Johnson presides at the traditional ceremonies. Mr. Johnson asked the new officers to remember that America did not strive for peace because we are weak, but rather because we are strong. This is the type of officer who will help keep it strong. The anchor man is cheered. He finished last, but he graduated, so from last man to honor man, it's hats and anchors away.